Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of 20 Below. Uh, if you're watching this today, I would just like to say thank you for checking out my channel, checking out this first episode. Hopefully, it'll be the first of many. And if you couldn't tell, today we're going to be playing Crypt of the Necrodancer for our first game. So before we get into it, I'd like to give a little background information about this game. Crypt of the Necrodancer is an award-winning, hardcore, roguelike rhythm game. Move to the music and deliver beatdowns to the beat. Groove to the epic Danny Burrow's Sky soundtrack or select songs from your own MP3 collection. Yeah, that's right. You can add your own songs to the game to add your own new challenges, whether it be hip-hop, country, classical, jazz, try out different things, try new challenges, and... With that being said, we're going to get into the game. We're not going to be adding our own music today. We're just going to be doing the regular soundtrack version. So let's get into it. They told me I was too young. They told me I needed more training. Huh? I told them to drop dead. How ironic. I don't know how I survived that fall. Something strange must have happened. My pulse is beating like a drum, but my blood is running cold. I'm not sure what's going on, but I came here with a question. And I'm gonna find the answer if it kills me. First thing that we're going to do before we start playing is we're going to go into the options. We're going to go to graphical options and we're going to disable the disco floor. And what I'm doing here is uh, once you get into the groove of the game, you start doing real well. The floor will light up and change colors like 70s boogie town disco land. And personally, I find it uh, pretty annoying. So we're going to disable that. And... We're going to start here. We're in this brief tutorial. Press an arrow key on the beat to move. So we see our heart down here. The beat is going to the heart with the music. So we're going to move with that. And if we do it wrong, you see it says missed. So we're just going to move through this if little I'm gonna tutorial dungeon. This, I'll have to remember what Uncle Eli taught me. Every opponent has a predictable pattern, he said. Learn that pattern and you won't suffer so much as a scratch. Here we have a blue key. Who's Uncle Eli? That green guy didn't move at all, and this blue one just moves up and then down, so if I attack him from the side, I'll never get hurt. Huh. Never got hurt. A broadsword, not as sharp as I'm used to, but I bet it can still take out three enemies in one shot. It's pretty broad. Ooh, a diamond. Looks like those skeletons put their hands in the air when they're about to jump. If I'm in the way when they move, it's gonna hurt. Didn't hurt. Totally dodged it. <laughs> that trap is mostly harmless, but Eli warned me of deadlier traps to come. Eli warned me of deadlier traps to come. Here we are in the first level in this cave of terror. Got a treasure chest over here, some kind of bomb trap. And this is just a run of the mill. Ooh, we got some leather armor. Just a regular uh, cave like dungeon. There's a guy here trapped in a cage that says, help me, help me, uh, buy the golden key. Some boxes, some traps. Oh, a dragon. That's not good. And a bomb. Yeah. Bomb. Ooh, I found the chicken. Here's the end of the level already. 
diamond here in this rock if you have Blinken. You cannot cut through those rocks. Dig through those rocks, I should say. We already found the eggs. Let's see if we can find somewhere to buy this golden key. And I really like how you can see the, the bones and fossils embedded in these blocks of dirt. You know, if you think about it, you know, we were just, we're digging, and we, what is this? Oh, shop. There's the golden key, shop, keep the thing on, keep this torch. So we were, uh, we were digging, I guess, and fell into this swanky, undead nightclub where all these ghouls and goblins are just partying and hanging out, and we're just coming in and murder them all. Kind of mean if you ask me, but you gotta do what you gotta do, I suppose. Let's use this key to free this uh, lion tamer looking guy. Shoot me in the lobby! Thank you! We'll go down the stairs and head on to the next level. Well, we're still on level one, but this is level one, part two. Different song, a couple new monsters. Lose item, gain health. I think I'll hold off on that for now. Find a diamond. Another diamond up here. I stepped on a spike trap and it really freaking hurt. Didn't want to eat my chicken, but I'm gonna have to. There's a ghost there. We can't hit him if we face him, so we're gonna have to turn away and then get him. And that chest is bouncing. So uh, something tells me it. It's alive! Oh, we got some bombs, secret room over here, and automatic freeze necklace. And here's the mini boss area. Uh, before we uh, go up with them, let's go to the shop here and see what we can see. Freeze enemies, two empty heart containers, and uh, one storage. I don't really want any of those things. things I'd like to cover. There's another guy in the cage. Help me! Dig for the key. Oh, there it is. Right next to her. Him, her. I think it's her. Yep, some kind of wizard lady. See you in the lobby. Thank you! Let's say two people. I'm gonna go on to the third floor of this level. Got some water there, that'll slow us down. Kill that guy, kill that guy. Chop his head off. Gonna shop up here. 250 of that key. Two damage sword, one dig. We'll take the sword. We could use a better sword. I don't want to step on that spike trap again. I'll dig through here to avoid these traps. Ooh, a treasure chest. Horizontal fire blast. Take that. I always forget to use spells. They're just the buttons are so odd combinations, and I never think about it. We are probably gonna die. Another caged up person. There's a trap door. Uh, diamond by the key. I know where it's at, but I don't have enough for it. So we'll see if we can find some money. If not, I might, oh, I might die anyway. But that's okay. We're gonna go to the lobby. Um, so here we are in the lobby area. We got some diamonds to spend. And we can we talk about what was going on. Cause this kind of threw us right in. So we got the Beastmaster over here. I'll let you train against them. So that's that lion tamer we uh, saved. We're not going to be uh, showing every time I die. I'm, I'm going to 
Would you like to enable move fast mode in the lobby? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm gonna cut it out, and if anything changes that you didn't see, I'll uh, I'll let you know about it. Up here we have a uh, the hep hepestus asbestos um, cells. Uh, these items show up in your chests, weapons and armor, and food, and. Uh, what this person actually is, I believe, is uh, the son of Zeus, and he is the god of fire and metalworking and, uh, like, masonry. I don't know why he'd be in the crypt of the Necrodancer. Maybe he was a bad boy, or maybe he wants to hang out with his friends that his dad doesn't like. I'll buy all that stuff, though. Over here we have a dungeon master. How's it going? I sell permanent upgrades. Permanent. We'll buy a heart. We'll buy a chest. Over here is the Merlin. Merlin, the lady magician. These items will show up in chests. Nice. And uh, locked. Uh, we have a codex. Master advanced techniques. Find in zone two, the janitor. Remove items from the non-all zones item pool. Well, I guess someone's gotta clean this mess up. Find in zone two. And there's a few different game modes. Daily challenges, all zones modes, zones one through four, local co-op character select tutorial, all zones mode seated, dance pad mode, easier. And level editor. I don't really know if this dance pad mode is easy or not because I don't have a dance pad. But if you do, you can uh, use it to add new challenges to the game. And uh, maybe it's easier, maybe it's not. There's a pot here that I've been hitting. Don't know why. I can't seem to break it. I don't really want to waste a bomb on it. But you see how below us it's black except for that one tile where you could see the wall. See that tile is a secret room. Everything else is not. Something's crumbling. There's something coming after us. Let's go up here found a black chest. What we got in this chest? A spear. Give us a little bit longer reach. Get so close to these guys. Yeah, you know, they they did a really good job making this soundtrack. The the music is is good. It's it's fun. I'm getting killed. Let's see if I can break this pot. Oh god, a minotaur. It's got a harp on his head. It is pretty easy to kill. I do not care for the dragons. I think they're rather difficult, but maybe it's just me. Bomb trap, green guy, red chest, got the cheese! And this is my first time recording and editing, so I apologize if it seems a little choppy or unprofessional. It's a work in progress, and, uh, and hopefully, you know, I'll get better at it and we'll have some better videos, but uh, I don't let this discourage you from from watching because we are gonna have a good time. And I see a shop here, and now I forget how to get into it. Um, but I actually did record a rather long video prior to this. It was about 45 minutes, and. When I played it back, I couldn't hear myself because I had the game volume up too high. Which, uh, let me actually just check that right now to see if it is still high um, audio. Let's turn it down a little bit. So, although I was talking, all I could hear was music, and I was like, well, that's not going to work.
can't even hear myself and I'm not a very loud talker to begin with. I'm actually trying to talk louder than my usual uh, talking voice because I'm I'm a, I'm a rather soft-spoken person. So, uh, talking loud enough for people to hear me is is a bit of a challenge because I'm I'm just not used to doing it. We found some chain mail, it looks like, which will uh, help us out. Got another diamond. We're doing pretty good on diamonds. Dig right through here because I don't know how to get through. And some rocks you could dig through, some rocks you can't dig through. Um, you have to find a better shovel or uh, pickaxe or what have you if you want to dig through, you know, the other types of rocks. This one we cannot dig through. The gray ones, I'm pretty sure you can't dig through at all because they're the edge of the world, edge of the level. I'm gonna bomb this guy. Got him. Uh, better shot. A digging necklace. Um. Alright, zone three. 125. We actually can buy that and free whoever's in this level. There are three floors uh, per zone, if I haven't said that already. And after this zone, if we can beat it, we'll fight a random boss out of the ones they have available. Some are easier than others. Maybe we will beat them, maybe we won't. Gain item, uh, tougher enemies. Is it worth it? I think not right this second. Minotaur over there. Ooh, that was not a good idea. Oh, shit. Take it. Let's go and whip them. Whip them good. Get them back. I don't know. I'll take it. I don't really want the bow. I don't really even like it. I mean, I don't know. I find the bow is rather useless. Look at that pile of money. Whip that dragon good. Yeah. What the hell do I get out of here? You and me, bro. Time to eat it. Get a musical calamari. Get some! Bam, bam! Kill cow! Watch out! Yeah, you think you bad, poor Riff? You ain't bad. You ain't nothing. What? Get my money. 
Dad was always coming and going on his adventures. But this time he seemed more excited. He said he'd found it, some great treasure. When I was older, I found the notes he left behind. Directions to a graveyard. Uncle Eli tried to stop me. But Dad had been gone for two years. I had to find him. All right, what a... New character unlocked. Oh, nice. What a great game. Well, that's all for the first episode. Thanks for watching.